almost two years after this community was rightly outraged by a blistering report detailing the terrible conditions at the Grand Rapids Home for Veterans, some important improvements have been made. Still, there's more work to do. The new director, Tracy Nelson, must continue to build on the progress when she takes the reins December 4th. No one should forget the severity of the problems highlighted in that 2016 report from the Office of the Auditor General. They included failing to properly investigate allegations of abuse and neglect, inadequate staffing levels, and taking too long to fill prescriptions. Video also revealed insufficient room checks and alarm checks. Ms. Nelson, the former administrator of Medi Lodge of Capital Area in Lansing, must continue to work on restoring public trust and confidence that was eroding before the report, but is gradually returning. That means being vigilant about delivering first-rate service, having a competent staff, and demonstrating accountability and transparency. Her experience in skilled nursing environments indicates she's up to the task. Our veterans and their families should have confidence that once they complete their service, they will be treated with the dignity and respect they deserve. Recent state and federal reports show that the quality of life of our nearly 300 veterans improved under the prior leadership. The home has met all 231 standards reviewed by the Department of Veteran Affairs in its annual survey. That's encouraging and should be the standard going forward. An August Auditor General's report also showed improvements, including in safety services, the complaint process, and member accountability. Still, the home was found to have only partially complied with minimum staffing levels regarding nursing supervisors, an issue that has since been addressed. The overall improvements at the home are welcome step forward, but changing the culture of an institution takes time and a serious long-term commitment. Ms. Nelson should make continuing the transformation a priority. Regression is unacceptable.